So this will be the tutorial to show you how to make the shirt sleeve placket. Um, the first step you're going to do is thread trace all your lines. I use red to denote that that's where my fold lines are going to be. And then I use the purple for my stitch lines. And then the next step you would do is I will also pre-fold under with the iron my outside seam allowances to make it easier. You're going to have done a, a, um, a stitch here so that you can clip right into the corner, okay? Um, and then the next thing you're going to do is lay your wrong side of your shirt to the right side of the placket. Pin it down, and then I went ahead already just to make it faster for the video. I stitched my little box, which is my purple stitching lines, and then I clipped to the corners. Okay, so then the next step would be I would turn it over and I'd pull the placket through to the right side. And again, I have to clip to this corner before I get started. Um, you're going to go ahead and take that, that placket piece after you press your seams open, actually. Press all your seams open and then press them flat to the, to the placket. And you're going to fold this over, lining up right inside the stitches. And then you're going to pin this down and hand baste it. You're going to be working only on the outside placket for now. I'm not going to hand baste it just to make it faster for the video. Um, so then you're going to, you'll end up with this, okay? You're going to stitch from right below where you clipped, right below where this turned, and stitch all the way down. That, that finishes off this side of the placket. The next step would be, you would again, your seam allowances were pressed open and pressed towards the placket. Your seam is already folded on the outside seam allowance. You're going to fold on your fold line and you're going to again just right inside that stitch line. You're going to pin it all the way up. And then hand baste it. To hold it in place. The reason for hand basting is just to, for more accuracy. Okay, and then you the most important thing is that this little opening you made, everything is folded straight up. Okay, it's going to get hidden, but this has to be up so that the outside the outside placket goes on, holding that down. Then this goes over. Okay, and everything should be nice and neat and flat there. Put another pin to hold it. Then you're going to fold the tower. Some people leave the tower straight. I have my basting lines and the easiest way, I make it extra long so I can just fold it like that. Okay, and then. And you might want to put a pin first. This is already turned under and then you want to fold the other corner. This is where you might have to do some fiddling to make sure that it's perfect. I usually take a little more time than this, but you want to make sure that that little tower is folded evenly. If it's not, just keep fiddling with it. This I would definitely want you to hand base down before you even pin it down, just to make sure you've got your corners like even and the center of the tower even, okay? Then you would go ahead and pin all this down hand baste it down and then the next step would be to stitch it. Now in what you want to really make sure on the back is that it looks like this. The back should be clean and tuck, tucked in. Okay, now you're going to, providing that all this was um, perfectly basted and, st and ready to go, you're going to come in here stitch from the bottom up, again just right inside and as close to the edge as you can, neatly.
Hand basting makes it so that you don't slide off, which I feel like I might be doing a little bit of. Maybe not, okay. Now when you get up to here, you wanna make sure that you go all the way up to the top. Corner's nice. And make sure you tuck, if that little edge is in, which you would have already hand basted it in, you just want to make sure nothing is sticking out. Try to use something so that I can hold it down as closely as possible, like a knitting needle, without putting my fingers in the way. Now all this, I keep checking it, but this is really crucial that everything is nice and flat. And you're going to be stitching, which you would have hand-based and marked right below that line where it was all tucked, or right to that line. You see in the back, it's nice and clean, so when you open your shirt, there's no raw edges. Of course, you would use matching thread, and there's the tower. That's where you'll start putting your buttons and buttonholes, okay, when you look at it like that. 